Hello, welcome, and I'm going to show you how to use the System Rescue CD to recover some data over the local area network. And uh, there's the failing hard drive that Windows won't work with. It's connected via an IDE cable to a slave uh, device. Uh, anyway, here's the uh, boot CD, or the rescue CD. And you can just choose the default boot number one, hit enter on it uh, for the default boot options. It loads a bunch of st uh, Linux stuff and then hit enter. Okay, so here's the menu of the boot CD. Uh, you can just type start X to run the graphical environment. So I type start X and hit enter. And here's the terminal root. Uh, you can type in commands to uh, mount the hard drive, which I'm going to do next. So, first thing I need to do is find out which, which uh, hard drive it is that I'm dealing with that I need to mount. So, in this case, I look at the hard drive and I tell that it's a 60 gigabyte model. Uh, where is it? And then I go here, I type F S Archiver. And then probe simple. and hit enter. You should see something come up here listing your hard drive devices attached. And so you've got the Samsung as the C drive, you've got the Yoshiba MK60, that's the failing hard drive, it's uh, almost 60 gigs. And, uh, and I've got a couple other drives attached. Uh, so uh, you can see the Seagate technology drive and the CD, DVD, RW listed there too. So, so I look down at the bottom of the list of the devices and identify which line includes my boot partition of the failing hard drive, the one that you're going to want to recover all the data from. And in this case, it's the one listed as 51.18 gigabytes uh, with the unknown label and the NTFS file system. And that would be uh, SD, SDC2. Then we go, uh, see there's a third one up. We go over here, see that that's listed as SDC2. That, that right there is what we're going to type in as the device name. So, my type is NTFS 3G space dash O space RO and then forward slash or space and the forward slash DEV is the SDC2. Oh wait. 
SGC2. And then space M and T. Wait. Space forward slash M and T slash Windows. So we mount the, the drive right here. And hit enter. And we got back to the root prompt. And by the way, I can use the mouse. I actually I want to I want to right click down here on the network connection. Go to connection information. And I can see here what my IP is, is right here. So I take that and remember it. Close this window. And I'm going to need that IP address later for FileZilla. So next I type cd slash mnt slash windows. And then ls space dash l. So here we can see the next thing after I typed L ls dash L is cannot cannot access Windows input output error, but uh, you still got the files showing up here. And you can expand. It doesn't matter if there's an input output error, it's gonna probably say that, but expand the window down and that's that for mounting it anyway I need to set a password so I type P A S S W D and hit enter it says enter the new password and I type in my password. And type it again. And then now I have to go to uh, FileZilla. So we go from the bench computer, it's running uh, the System Rescue CD, over to this computer that's on the network, and open FileZilla, and then go to File, and then Site Manager, and then type in the IP address that you got earlier from the uh, bench computer, and the port 22, and choose S. FTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol, because FTP will be in there. And then log on type normal, user root, and the password is the password you just created last step on the Linux box. And then under advanced, server type default, auto detect. And the default directory is going to be slash mnt slash windows now you should click connect I can go to here this will look like this at root you click here and you go to uh, mount mnt Expand the, the main the root directory and then go to mount. 
than Windows. And as you can see, there's all the files from the other hard drive. You can take this like LimeWire folder, for example, and drop it, drag it and drop it over here. So that's that. I can copy the files over the network and uh, enjoy uh, rescuing this person's data from their hard drive that Windows wouldn't work with using Rescue CD and FileZilla. There might be some errors, but uh, I got uh, like uh, mostly successful transfers. Also, so when you're done with uh, the FileZilla on your or in your networked computer, you want to come back over to the computer that you were running the Rescue CD on an unmounted device. Uh, we're going to type uh, U mount space slash mnt slash Windows. And you make it a target is busy warning. But don't worry, just type reboot and the Linux Rescue CD will try to automatically unmount the hard drives as you as it goes to shut down. So thank you for watching. And I hope this has helped you uh, recover some data today.